What's going to happen is we're going to have about nine different crashes, everything from motorcycles into cars, cars into cars, cars into uh, tractor and trailers, uh, under rides, basically the uh, broad spectrum of crashes that uh, an investigator might uh, find in his work. We have a, a gentleman named Rusty Hag, and he's done almost a thousand crashes, so he'll be in some of that. As I'm on the approach on the crash, I'm just hoping I've planned it right. Um, you know, I've got my alignment right, I'm, I'm lined up with the car I'm supposed to hit the way I'm supposed to hit it, and that's really the important part. Um, there's, there's nothing else I need to worry about. If you have your seatbelt on, the airbags deploy properly, it, it's, nothing should be uh, uh, traumatic or uh, life-threatening. However, you can't, you can't always dictate what happens with a vehicle at impact. This is typical. This is the kind of thing that happens out on the streets. Uh, we have accidents that don't go the way people think things should be, and we have an accident and sometimes people get hurt, sometimes people get killed, uh, and we would like to put things back together properly and determine what really happened. And the whole idea is that the guys out there in the field investigating crashes are the cornerstone of traffic safety. You know, if, if there's a bunch of wrecks down here at the corner of walk and don't walk, we don't know what causes them. How do you, how do you solve that? How do you fix that? Data that we gather in measurements and photographs uh, help us to determine more accurately what really happened in a crash. And that's really, that's really where, where we're starting here today, making a better investigator.